Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little maintenance task that I want to involve you in um, I have a lot of hard drives these two and a half inches drives um, maybe you should just see those here there is a lot of drives three of them are in boxes that doesn't mean they're new just means that well they have the boxes and there is hard drive by hard drive by hard drive and this is because I have so many drives out at my little data center that I can't remember which is good and which is bad and a while back I did some testing and I found out that a lot of them are bad so I'm gonna be using this IBM 3650 model 3 to uh, test some drives it already has two drives in there so I'm I think I'm gonna keep those in there and I'm gonna be testing out some of these drives and see if they're worth anything or if I should return them um, what I usually do is you can see these are IBM drives and nowadays they are Lenovo drives yeah it says Lenovo on the box and when we have a server that has a failed hard drive at work um, we get a new drive and I sent back a bad drive and uh, well, I usually find the really bad drives to send back to them. The right model and everything, of course. They have these, this is a regular IBM 146 gigabytes, 10,000 rounds per minute, 6 gigabytes SAS drive, and it has a model number. And IBM or Lenovo, they just want one of those back. I usually check them out and see if, if I can do anything good with the drive, even though it has uh, complained in a server somewhere. I have a RAID controller in this server and it's the server RAID M5015 and it's a fairly good RAID controller so we're gonna be putting in some drives and see if it can recognize the drives and uh, I'm not gonna be testing forever and ever I'm just gonna be doing a little test to see how dead these drives are and, and I do expect that there is a lot of them that are really dead so well, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of scanning and mingling around with them. I'm just gonna be quickly checking if they're workable. To get to this point, I have gone into the BIOS and through the BIOS, I have access to the RAID controller because it's an UEFI BIOS. So we're moving in there, see what it sees. It sees the two first drives. There is a drive there and there's a drive there and combined they make a virtual drive there and that's a RAID 1 so it's two drives uh, that are mirrored let's put in some drives and see what it says okay I have six drives here and I have six empty bays so we're gonna check out the fillers here and we're gonna be putting in drives and it's gonna be checking them out as I put them in Phone number three, I don't think we need that anymore. And all of these are the same number. You can see the frequent replacement unit. I think it says if if are you. These are 42 D0 633s. So good. I can hear some of them. That's not a, always a good thing. So let's see what the what the server thinks about it. As you can see, it, it actually sees all six drives down here, so that's kind of cool. So we can try and check out the first one, see what, how that is. Unconfigured good. Hmm. See the next drive. Oh, oh, we see some more data on that drive, sorry. Well, let's try and um, scan devices and when we do that we get the option of importing foreign configurations so if this was actually some disks where I needed the data we could do that but we're gonna clear all of them I hope I'm not gonna be clearing the one that I already have but uh, well I'm gonna I'm willing to take that chance see we go back to the main page now 
there and some of it has started to get yellow and well it seems you actually have a better picture of that than I have so so this is an unconfigured and this is an unconfigured and the yellow ones are yellow is usually not good that's for sure so let's um, get on to one of those previous fail count one so this drive has a previous failure and that is why it has been marked yellow let's check next and that's just some information about the drive I'm gonna say that that's probably a bad drive that I need to take to look at some more so um, I'm gonna take those out so that would be number that bay number one two three and four five six and seven took one out and I'm gonna take out the last yellow one that as well that one there another bad one so gonna rescan and they're gone now so right now I'm gonna I'm gonna think that these are good and I'm gonna try and put in a couple of extras here is two new ones or they're not new but they're new to what we're doing right here so I'm gonna put those in see how they act up and they're blinking down here and I'm gonna hit the scan devices see what it comes up with yes we have some foreign configuration we're gonna clear those sure yes one of them is making noises yeah we have another bad one that one and it also has a previous fail count okay I'm gonna take that out as well and add to the other bad drives which um, they are placed over here and I have one more here this is a bit of another one this is a 15 thousand rounds per minute so we're gonna try and put that in see how that is scan devices see what it found okay that seems to be okay ish let's go check zero previous failures that doesn't seem too bad so apparently all the drives that I have in right now is not too bad we're gonna take those out Put them in a box here they are ready to fight another day they are kind of sorted out so they shouldn't be as dead as the tree up here the tree up here uh, it could be fun to see how dead they really are but well right now we have more discs to test i have some 73 gigabyte drives 15,000 rpms so that we're gonna put in and one here and we have two here, same size. And um, I have put posters on these. These should be defective. So uh, let's see if I'm right about that. Oh, one of them has a nasty sound. Must be the last one. Probably something is wrong. So let's see if we scan. Clear foreign configuration, yes. Yeah, number four is definitely bad down here. The last one I put in uh, and it's not even showing up. That one has a orange LED. That one is definitely bad. These two, well, they show up. So they are not totally dead. I would have liked to see how that this number four, how that is, what it says. If it doesn't show up, it doesn't show up. Another bad drive. And it was a noisy one. So four bad drives so far and I'm gonna take those two out as well and stuff them in the box then I have let's see 300 gigabytes here kept it in a nice bag 300 gigs 10,000 rpms also 300 gigabytes 10,000 rpms 
And then another 300 gigabytes. So all these four drives are equal in size and model number. I'm gonna be putting these in. So yes, this is the model. This is the IBM model number. Lenovo has come with their own model numbers, which uh, can be a big confusion. So I had to go and look up uh, Lenovo's model number for the old IBM discs here. These are all IBM branded and they had the IBM model numbers down here and now Lenovo has changed it so that they have they now have Lenovo model numbers on them and um, well that was a quite a bit confusing at first well uh, let's let's try these I hope they're not all bad 300 gigs drives are they're cool enough they sound okay no unnecessary noises the server is a bit noisy it's in itself scan drive devices clear foreign configurations are you sure yeah this is no it's i'm not formatting anything i'm just saying that the rate configuration that is on there i'm not gonna be needing that oh that was awesome four drives that wonder why previous fail count zero hmm, that is kind of weird but well um we don't mess with with drives if they as much as blinks the yellow led they're changed and um well i play with them mostly if they're not under warranty though for 300 gigabyte drives that is not complaining so another box of hard drives that are okay ish or at least good enough for playing with so um, they go over beside the other ones cool so after that little bit of sorting i have two boxes here full of okay ish they show up they didn't have any bad counts so um, they might be turning bad but they're not bad bad yet at least not in my book they might have they have been dismissed at some point so well they are totally fine for what i'm gonna be using them for i have four here that is well they are defect not good to modern cool um so i'm gonna be putting those in my car and i'm gonna be turning those in when we have some discs that are to be turned in that's bad so just a little bit of maintenance work in my little data center sorting out which of the drives were bad and which is um, okay to try on a bit further. When I do these videos, I kind of get them mixed up and I do get some bad ones from time to time and that are actually bad. So of course they're bad, otherwise I wouldn't get them. So, um, well, I hope you got a little bit out of this video. Otherwise, just thank you for staying around for the cleaning. So <laughs> thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.